And how we had to go back the next morning to make sure it was truly out. How do you manage your equipment, your fatigue, other things in this kind of a season like this? Uh, there's some there's national standards and we follow those. You can only work 14 days in a row before you get a day off, uh -huh. and we're not there yet. Um, but you try to you know you try to pace yourself. You look at the weather forecast for the day and try to try to guess. And sometimes the weather forecast and the fire behavior are the same. And sometimes you get caught. Uh, by surprise and you don't think it's going to be much of a day and next thing you know you're running around all day. What, just as a forester, just speaking as kind of an educator in a way, can you just say some things people should be not be doing and should be doing right now to keep everyone safe and, and to keep the timber where it's supposed to be? Sure, in Minnesota and Wisconsin, really regionally, um, something like 98% of all of our fires uh, in the state are caused by people burning debris or other things like that and it gets away from them. Uh, we just got back from a fire just now, it was the exact same thing. Someone was burning debris, this person was doing it without a permit and uh, it got away from them. And it's just amazing. People are constantly surprised I think by how little fire it takes and what one little ember will do. What should we do with our brush then? Uh, wait until the conditions are, are different and right now we have suspended our issuing burn permits and the state's done the same and uh, south of here they did it about a week or two earlier uh, just wait it'll be there for you when things green up things will green up hopefully um, hopefully we'll get some good rain we need a good soaking rain and um, we haven't had anything like that really this spring